Hello guys, my name is Don and you're watching my channel Don Astronomy. I'm coming back to my little travel rig setup now. I want to make some modifications. Um, the travel rig, I'm really happy with the setup that I've done. Um, I have a couple of other videos um, of how I put this rig together. But what I want to do is actually use other telescopes on this down the track. I want to buy some more scopes, but the way I've got it set up, it's a little bit difficult. I have the computer actually, which I've custom modified and I've got it bolted directly to this dovetail bar um, which is great for this setup but um, it means if I want to put another scope on I have to pull this telescope out in order to get to these screws and undo those screws for the computer and then bolt it back onto another dovetail bar etc. So what I want to do is actually use this dovetail bar and I'll end up mounting this telescope to this dovetail bar and then I will use this dovetail bar because I've got uh, I've got my Sony A6400 um, and I've got a nice wide 16 millimeter lens for this. So I want to do some uh, landscapes and some wide field astrophotography. But what I want to do is I also want to be able to use the computer. So I want to be able to um, use the polar line uh, function in sharp cap because it's really difficult here in the southern hemisphere to to use your polar scope you have to actually wait till it's almost pitch black and even here where i am in a border to sky um, i have that luxury it is really difficult to find those polar alignment stars it takes quite a long time to do it that way so in order to save a lot of time i can actually use sharp cap and get that process done before the sun is fully set or the light is fully set so there's a few things I am, I'm thinking of doing. Uh, one is creating some kind of little bracket um, that will hold the telescope independently so I don't have to mount it to the dovetail bar. Um, and I've got, a, I've got an idea and hopefully that's going to work. Okay, so what I want to actually do here so I'll get rid of this little rig. As you can see, this rig is completely uh, bolted there. So this is the reason that I'm, I want to do this. So that's the little computer and the DIN rail um, that I've used to uh, connect it to the bracket. I purchased a couple of these dovetail saddles uh, from Bintel a while ago and this one one of them was right on the ed end of my Edge HD, right at the top, and it was mainly just to get balance because I was I had no balance left, and I had the telescope um, so far forward that there was actually an inch uh, of the the scope, the dovetail of the scope that wasn't actually in the saddle. That's how close I was trying to get balance in my deck. So I had that right on the end just to get a little bit more weight. So it's it's not really doing anything, and I also. What I did is I purchased this uh, guidoscope bracket, so I've mounted it to that. And the idea is that I can um, I can mount that uh, when I actually get my um, wide field set up with my A6400 on. When I do my guidoscope, well, I do my polar alignment. I can potentially slip that underneath. Is the plan? and I will be able to just slot that on. So it's quick and easy for me to, to get rid of that, um, to put that on when I want to go and polar align with sharp cap. And what I want to do in the same thing with this, except I'm thinking of mounting the computer now. 
somehow to this so I can do a similar thing and that way the computer always lives on this saddle so depending on what telescope I have on I can always um, slide the scope on so I can take it off one put another teles different telescope on and put that one on we'll see how we go with that Uh, so now what I want to do is um, I have a 3 8 uh, threaded bolt here and that's to go on my ball head mount on my tripod and that's what I'm going to mount my Sony camera to. It's not going to fit through here though so I'm going to bore this out and uh, so it fits through and then I can screw my, my ball head uh, straight onto that. Okay, so I've um, I've drilled that out now, so I should be able to put my ball head straight onto the end of that. So the plan is to uh, put my um, guide scope in there, put that onto the front of my dovetail bar. The computer will slide onto the back. Now, using sharp cap and my computer, I can pull on my mount uh, and then once I'm polar aligned I can really take polar scope back off I can even take the computer back off I won't need it then but then I can bolt my ball head back on there and I know I'm polar aligned and I can start to take some nice wide field shots of the Milky Way so I got the little rig back together I had to make a modification and with this uh, dovetail saddle that I had the computer attached to, I was going to mount it at the back on the um, dovetail plate here, but what was happening was when he spun it around, you can see it was hitting, the base of this saddle was hitting this USB cable, and that's something I really don't want to do. So I, I simply swapped the bracket from one side to the other, um, and then reversed it to the front, and it does the same thing. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now I can um, easily undo the saddle and pop another telescope on, put the saddle back and uh, plug it in, away we go. And it's made it a lot more modular now, um, so I'm quite happy with that. I'm gonna see now how well it works with my um, Sony A6400 mounted on it. Okay, so the rig's together. Um, I'm happy with the way this works this is what I wanted it to be like except it didn't happen um, this dovetail bar is way too short so my computer and my guide scope can't fit on it so I can't do the polar alignment like I wanted to but on the other hand I'm happy with the way that uh, the camera mounts on here so once I am polar aligned I can adjust my camera to a particular spot in the Milky Way and start tracking. Um, so I'm, I'm happy with the way that works. And I've really only got to buy another one of these dovetail bars, which is the same length as this. And again, all I have to do is place my telescope on, which is pretty simple now and also my guide scope quite simple just to bolt that on now as well plug them in then i can uh, connect it to my computer with my little uh, uh, tablet as I've, I've shown in previous videos do my sharp cap alignment and uh, polar alignment and i'm good to go once that's done again unplug take these off I don't need this I don't need the computer anymore all I needed to be was polar aligned I can then mount this straight onto that didn't work out to plan but I'm happy I know it's going to work so I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching